Yo, what's up, people? This is your boy P. Ross back in the building with the homie. Yo, what's goody, Purple Fam? This is Micah, aka C, capital M to the S in the flesh. And together we are the Purple Underground. <laughs> we are the new breed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the big homie, uh, the little bro, Benny D, on the track. Ben, Benjamin D. Cruz. A Benny D on the track, though. Benny D on the track. A Benny D. That's my man right there. Yo, check this out. We got something really special for you guys. Um, As you read in the title, these are the our personal top 10 of Prince tracks that either made us emotional or made us cry. Would you agree with that, Mikey? Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, when you actually pitched this this topic to me, uh, I mean, you know, I was on board, and uh, you know, I, I, I actually kind of thought this would be a very interesting and very good uh, subject for us to uh, to touch on for the people. Right. And, uh, and and this was actually pretty challenging for me. You know, to try to come up with uh, ten songs that uh, that hit us emotionally in in some uh, in some form. You know, what I'm saying whether it's you know in a joyous way, in a painful way, or in a you know angry way, whatever. You know, emotions. So, yeah, you know, let's get to it. I'm ready. I defer to you, my brother. No, 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 no. You know what? Okay, you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I mean, I figured, you know, since this was, you know, you're the brainchild on this one, you would go. But okay, I'll go. Okay. Um. For me, um, uh, before I get to my top ten list, I had to do a, a honorable mention, if it's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um. I got 10 honorable mentions, you know, I just had to do 10. So th these are my 10 uh, honorable mentions. Uh, coming in at number 10 in no particular order, I have Until You're In My Arms Again from the uh, New Power Soul album by the MPG, New Power Generation. You know, great song. Uh, number nine, I have. Uh, this is actually an outtake, you know, for all my hardcore Prince fans. You might be familiar with this one. I can't love you anymore. Okay. 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 I, I, I mean, I, I know if you was going to, you know, say something. Okay. All right, well, let me keep moving. Let me keep it keep it moving. Number eight, I have uh, I Love You, But I Don't Trust You Anymore from the album Rave Unto the Joy Fantastic. Also a song Rave Into the Joy Fantastic. Uh, coming in at number seven, uh, The Breakdown from Artificial Age. Number six, I have Dark. Uh, definitely can relate to that song uh, very much, you know, from uh, past relationships. Mm -hmm. Number number five, I have. This is another uh, unreleased track, but it's it's out there uh, leaked out on bootleg. Love never has to say goodbye. Great song. Number right. four, okay. Number four. Uh, my favorite uh, song off the album, Planet Earth, Somewhere Here on Earth. Number three, I have Nothing Compares to You. Number two, this is, this is 
this is another um, outtake. Um, the song "Open Book." That's a good one. Yeah. That that almost actually made my top ten. It almost made it. Um, now I, I he gave that to uh, I know he gave that song to uh, sh- uh one of the uh the uh, uh, Steels. Javetta Steel. Javetta Steel. Yep. And number one for uh, the honorable mention, the latter from the album "Around the World in a Day." All right, Ooh. now. <clears throat> Moving on to my top 10. Top 10 Prince songs that made me emotional. Uh, coming in at number 10, I have Come Back from one of your favorites, The Truth. Right. Um, great song, very sad, um, but nonetheless, it's a very, uh, very touching song. Uh, number nine, I have from Emancipation, Let's Have a Baby. Mm. Great song. Um, I, I don't know why this song don't really get as much love like it should. I mean, at least I'm saying I don't hear too much about it just among French fans, but I actually, actually just love this song. You know, I, I could tell that was a very personal song of his. Uh, see, number eight, I have... Empty Room. Uh, my favorite version of this song, particularly, I like the one that's on the uh, C note. Classic. Yes. Uh, again, that's another song I can relate to lyrically from uh, past uh, relationships. Um, well, one in particular. Uh, just, I mean, the, the lyrics is just, uh, I, I'm telling you from it, it, the whole song, lyrically, I could just relate to it. Uh, so, let's see, number seven, I have Anesthesia from Love Sexy. Number six, Still Withstand All Time from the album Graffiti Bridge. Uh, number five, this is actually a cover, but this was released on the Prince album. It was on the One Night Alone Piano and Voice, A Case of You. Mm. Beautiful cover. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, now, number four. This this track right here, P. Ross, um, mm-hmm. first time I listened to it, uh, when the uh, the originals dropped, you know, uh, I got a chance to listen to it on on uh, title. You know, thanks to uh, uh, the LC, you got a chance to listen to that album together. And this song right here, never heard it before, but the first time I heard it, I just sat there and was just in tune from beginning to the end, the vocals, everything, and it I. It damn near like got me misty eyed, misty eyed. Real talk. So that song I'm talking about is "You Are My Love" from the original. Right. Great song. So number three from the uh, Parade album, and this is probably my favorite Prince instrumental, "Venus de Milo." Beautiful, beautiful instrumental. Uh, number two, also coming from the Parade album, uh, Sometimes It Snows in April. Um, this song, uh, particularly, uh, every time I hear it, I, I kind of think about my uh, my father. And now it sort of kind of, you know, resonates with Prince, too, you know, because of his... Uh, uh, untimely uh, demise in, in the month of April. So, so sometimes it snows in April. Uh, great ballad. Uh, you know, it's it's a shame Prince didn't get nominated or even won a Grammy f- for that track. But that's another story. But uh, so number one, 
I have is, you know, the iconic Purple Rain. Um, you know, again, that, you know, that's just, you know, just iconic. Uh, definitely uh, hits me uh, at certain moments. Not every time I listen to it, but certain moments, it will hit me emotionally, um, you know, from a spiritual sense, from a... Uh, also from a standpoint when dealing with, you know, past relationships that, that went bad and, uh, and just questioning why did it go bad and, you know, and, and then also, you know, giving some sense of hope, you know, so, but anyway, yeah, those are my top 10. Man. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so, <clears throat> So I mean, I mean, any? Are you surprised by my list? Or? No, no. Really? No. Like, like, like none of them? None of them. I'm surprised. Nah, I ain't surprised at all. No. Nah, Not even the uh, the honorable mention. Nah, I ain't surprised because it fits with your character. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Well. Cool. Well, I can't wait to hear yours, man. So. Really? Go ahead. I defer to you. Okay. I have some honorable mentions myself. <coughs> uh, we're going to start out with uh, number 10 on the list of my honorable mentions. Uh, Shy, off of the gold experience. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, very, very... I don't think I really got emotional until the part until he says uh, a friend of mine got killed, but in retaliation, I shot the boy Pop Pop. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of hit me close to home. Not that that's actually happened to me, but I know friends of friends of friends that this shit happened to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, number nine, Solo, off of, mm. of, off of Come. Mm-hmm. Um. I love you, but I can't trust you anymore off of Rave. Uh, then we got June off of Artificial Age. Mm, that's a that's an interesting pick. Then I have Dark. Not yes. not, not the so dark shit, but Dark off of Kong. Um mm-hmm. nothing compared to you. The Saint Paul, the family version, of course. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there was so much emotion put into that song and the way he sung it was great. Um, right. Come back off of which is probably one of the greatest Prince albums of all time, The Truth. Um, Pearls Before the Swine off of One Night Alone, piano solo. Mm. Um. It's, it, that's kind of like a crazy breakup song, you know what I mean? Right. You yeah. know, and uh, it's, it's just crazy. Um, and Empty Room. And again, these ain't in no particular order. You know what I mean? Right. So, mm-hmm. Empty Room is my last honorable mention. Alright, uh, now. Which, let's which, be... which version? Which just Oh, C Note. C Note. C Note. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. C Note. All right, now let's get on with my actual top ten. Again, these are in no particular order. Um, still will stand out time. Yes. Another lonely Christmas. Mm. Another lonely Christmas is Great like. Song. It's like. It's supposed to be a Christmas song. But he kind of flipped it from joy to, like, disappointment, anger, and sorrow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it, it's kind of weird like that. Um, then I got Reflection from Musicology. Mm. Um, I was it, actually expecting you to to pick that one. Yeah, the Reflection is probably yeah. one of my favorite Prince songs, for real, for real. Yeah, that's a nice song. You know, but I, I get kind of emotional. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because of some of the content that's in the song. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Until You're In My Arms Again. Mm-hmm. Uh, for obvious reasons. If you don't know, people look it up. Right. Um, 
It's gonna be lonely. Up second album. Mmm. Self title album. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Yo, that's, it's gonna be a, lonely. That's a great one. You can yeah. hear the pain in his voice at the end of that song, man. Like it is spectacular. And it, every time I hear it, like my heart just jumps. You know what I mean? Um That that is a really good pick. That I really like that song yeah. too. Yeah. That's a yeah, I I, so, I can kind of relate to that. I well, I, I have to I have to tell you offline about a right. story about that. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Um, Purple Rain. Now, Purple Rain when Prince died was a song that I could not listen to, and I still mm. kind of can't listen to it now. Right. I really don't want to hear it. That's how much it, it fucking hurts. But Purple Rain. Um. Then off of one of your favorite Prince albums around the world in a day, Condition mm. of the Heart. Mm, Another track one. vocally yeah. that he, he just came and brought the thunder. Right. Um, then we got Anesthesia. Mm-hmm. And, of course, sometimes it snows in April. Which has a totally different meaning now since he's died. Right. Uh, and last on my list is Papa Alpha Come. Oh wow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't abuse children, or else they'll turn out like me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So right. those are my top ten tracks. Okay. You know. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I, I didn't want to take too much time, you know, as far as like with my list, you know, explaining why, um, you know, each song, why, why I picked the ones that I picked. But, but I, I will say this real quick, just going back to a, just a, a, a couple of the ones that I picked for like Still Was Stand All Time and Anesthesia. I kind of picked those from a more of a spiritual sense. You know, they, it, they, it kind of moved me. You know what I mean? I think still will stand out time. Like, if you watch Graffiti Bridge and watch that performance he did in the Graffiti Bridge, is like, very powerful. Right. Yeah, I moment. agree. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think that's a very underrated song. Like, it's it just has a very soulful, very gospel feel to it. You know what I mean? So he, he, he definitely went to... Went to church on that one, you know, for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And uh, uh, the anesthesia, I mean, you know, the, the part where he, where he opens up saying, have you ever been so lonely and and you felt like you were the only one in this world, you know, at, at one point I kind of felt like that, you know, first time I heard that album, you know, when I was a teenager, you know, I, I was kind of feeling like that a little bit. And... Again, it's just, you know, it's just a powerful spiritual song, you know, love is God, God is love. And, uh, and uh, Purple Rain was kind of an obvious choice, but for me, <clears throat> the last time I really, really like teared up listening to that song was, uh, it was actually on one of the uh, piano and microphone shows that he did uh, over in Sydney. And I think he did two shows. It was, I think it was the first show. And it was like the last song he did was Purple Rain, but he, and he dedicated it to uh, Vanity. So, you know, and I was kind of going through something personal at that time. So it's just the way he sung it. It was just so heartfelt like I, I could just hear it in his voice that he was like he was hurting you know because of her because of her passing and everything and uh you know because i know the show the the melbourne show that was the one that uh that was when he found out about her her passing but then like you know the sydney i don't know if it was like the next day or maybe two days uh after the uh yeah, Melbourne show, but yeah, that was that was probably like the last 
time I really, really, uh, you know, got emotional like hearing that song. So, and, and, and you know, like I said, You Are My Love, man. That's just, like, his vocal performance on there is just amazing. Like, you know, he's singing it in his lower register. I was just, like, it don't even sound like Prince at first. <laughs> Like, you know, if you play that song for, you know, a, a casual Prince fan, they probably wouldn't even know that was him, you know, right off the bat. So, so yeah, man. So, yeah, you know, like, I like your, your picks. Thank you. I enjoyed yours too, Mikey. That's what's up. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, people, what would y'all say y'all top 10 tracks that made, Prince tracks that made you emotional or even have made you cry? Mm -hmm. Comment down in the comment section, holler at us. You know what I mean? So, we're about to be up out of here. Take us out of here, CMS. Yo, make sure y'all, well, first off, before I get to that, thank you for watching the video. I mean, I always got to show appreciation. That's uh, very important. Um, make sure you hit us up on the uh, Facebook group page, the Purple Underground's Entertainment Lounge. You know, that's our official page. Hit us up on Instagram. And uh, the Twitter page is still in the works. But uh, other than that, you know, make sure you hit, up, hit us up on Facebook and uh, 